what's the difference? I always talk about how clear I think at the end of my lunge is uphill. And it's all because you have to fight through so much stuff. 800 meters of lunge is uphill. When you get to the top, I think you get that endomorphic release that you can't get before. Well, what's the difference? People ask me that a lot. Why is it work for one person and not for the other? I'm not talking about exercise programs. I'm talking about the business, life, all kinds of stuff. What is the difference? Why has certain things worked for you that haven't worked for others? I believe the determining factor initially and most off is self-discipline. I think that because I can focus on, you know, I learned it from a fitness standpoint, exercise and self-discipline through diet and lifestyle, which is one of the hardest things to learn. Just like Arnold said, it absolutely spills over into business and life. And I honestly think that's the main difference. I think if you can control the negative and the positive emotions and exercise self-discipline around them and never fails, 1,000% never fails. When I exercise more self-discipline, it's always rewarded. Think about that for a second. If you add more discipline to your life, it's rewarded. Is something given to you? No. But the opportunities exist and you're thinking clear enough to see them. In my career, 20 years I've been a business owner, especially in fitness, every time I exercise more self-discipline through my diet, through my training, through my daily habits, staying uncomfortable, being disciplined, it works every fucking time. And there's no... There's no coincidence for all the members at Corey G Fitness how well they're doing in their job, how well they're doing in their business when they take this stuff serious on top of it. When they're not only developing their body but developing their mind on a regular basis, they're exercising self-discipline with their time. Time is a, a commodity, as y'all know. You don't have very much of it. So you gotta use it to your you know, advantage daily and have that consistency for a long time. If you exercise self-discipline, by default, consistency happens. By default, opportunity starts to exist. The opportunity might have been there before, you just wasn't disciplined enough to see it. See, that's the way I think about it. I think it's like there's opportunities that show themselves because, and the people that get it, which is a pretty small percentage out here in the streets, they'll see it. So if a guy is is exercising self-discipline, he's motivated, he's consistent, he's proven, then opportunities and options are going to be more available. And when you see them, you'll be able to snag them, throw them into your habits, and create something great. And I just think every day when I wake up, if I can have that discipline to get up at fucking three in the morning, if I can have that discipline when I'm tired to still lunge up this hill, if I can have that discipline to keep the content schedule, if I can have that discipline to not let my ego get the best of me. If I can, there's, a, there's, you know, Andrew Carnegie talks about all the emotions that you have to be disciplined in and all the things that are some, you know, that are harder than others, but you can read up on those and it's like if you can get them in check. To me, that's the, that's the operational, um, just manual. The wisdom of Andrew Carnegie told by Napoleon Hill. I followed it for years. It's the main book that I read and pay attention to. I believe it's chapter seven is exercise self-discipline because once you find out your purpose, once you find out like what you're, what, you know, what, what you're into and what you're going to drive for and you put the discipline around it and there's like 17 principles that I follow, it can be amazing. I always feel a lot of gratitude for what's happened to me and for all the support that's out there. And I just know that if I continue to discipline myself more and more and live that life where it's like in the 90 percentile of what needs to happen, 
got to have fun. You got to relax. You got to have some things that happen. I, I definitely leave open things for that. I think that's what a lot of you guys enjoy is because I'm a real person that likes to have fun, drink some beer, enjoy stuff. It's not all about being a crazy discipline constantly, but I feel like if you can win the percentage game, so you can go 95-5, you can go 90-10. Most of the world ain't even in the 60s. So just look at that, evaluate what's going on right now and look at how your discipline is across all facets and see where you can improve on. Because if you just keep reminding yourself that if you get through that uncomfortable feeling, that discipline is rewarded, I think that's the difference.